So hi everyone and welcome to this video on a monopoly example uh, using calculus. So we're gonna uh, start to derive an actual scenario of a monopolist and we're gonna see how this compares mathematically with how the conditions are for a perfectly competitive market and I think we'll see clearly how welfare effects vary in these two market structures and I think it gets to it uh it will allow us to get to know how a monopoly sort of behaves in a much clearer light using numbers so suppose uh we have a market demand curve for the monopolist output being equal to p is equal to 400 minus 20 q and we have a cost function that the monopoly faces of 20 q squared plus 500 so the first order of business would be Okay, um, what is the monopolist's profit maximizing output and price, right? So we're going to need to use the relevant first order condition for that. But apart from that, the question is also asking um, at this particular combination, okay, what is the consumer surplus, which is a key welfare indicator as we were talking about in the last few videos. So uh, we're going to split essentially uh, this question up into a, a batch of videos because the questions we'll do are quite exhaustive. So uh, we'll maybe do it in two or three parts and just uh, head along as we go along. So to solve this, okay, what's the profit maximizing output in price? So to get, okay, so to get PM and QM, we use the FOC, which is MRQ is equal to MCQ. Okay, so that's our relevant first order condition. So we have, remember, P is equal to 400 minus 20Q. So to get marginal revenue, we need total revenue. So we have revenue that's equal to 400 times Q minus 20, uh, sorry, it's capital Q, 400, uh, 400Q minus 20Q squared. Right, so this is uh, revenue is just equal to this times Q. Okay, then uh, that's equal to revenue. Then uh, to get marginal revenue, we just take the first order derivative of that. So that's dr over dq. So that's going to be 400 minus 40q. Okay, simple power rule. Then we need to get marginal cost. So marginal cost is um, marginal cost. Q is just equal to the derivative of our cost function with respect to Q. So that's going to be 40Q. Uh, that's it, 40Q, 500's derivative with respect to Q is 0. Therefore, if we apply the FOC, we're going to equate MR and MC. So that's going to be 400 minus 40Q is equal to 40Q, right? Then we get 400 equal to 80Q, then divide both sides by 80 we get Q equal to 5. Okay, then we substitute this Q equal to 5 into either your MR or your MC equation. I'm sorry, not into that, but rather the price equation rather. So we get P. Okay, so we get P is equal to 400 minus 20 Q, right? That's this one. So we're just gonna uh, multiply 20 by 5. So that's 20 times 5, and we're going to get P being equal to 300. So the price of the monopolist uh, that the monopolist will charge is 300, and the quantity that will be produced is 5 in this case. Now we need to calculate the consumer surplus. So by definition, okay, the consumer surplus under a monopoly, Cs, is equal to the integral from Qm is equal to 0 from Q is equal to Q until Q is equal to QM times your demand function dQ minus uh, PM times QM. Okay, and essentially this is going to be equal to uh, the integral from 0 until 5, okay, because 5 is QM, right? 5 is QM of 400 minus 20Q, okay? dq minus uh, 5 time, times uh, 300, okay, 5 times 300, that's 1,500, okay, so we have that. 
then uh, we're gonna get the integral of this one okay so that's gonna be uh, integral of 400 so that's 400 Q then this one will be uh, 20 uh, this one will be 20 Q squared all uh, I'm sorry 20 Q squared all over uh, all over 2 yeah that's correct oops over 2 Right, and if we simplify it, this will be 10q squared, so that's 10q squared. Then we're going to evaluate this from 0, so 5, minus 1,500. Okay, and what we'll find is that this one will be 400 times 5, minus uh, 10 times uh, 25, minus 1,500. Because if we plugged in 0, then that would just be 0, so that's nothing. And essentially, you'll find this out, CSM is equal to, so this is going to be 2,000 minus 250 minus 1,500. Therefore, your consumer surplus under a monopolist is equal to 250. Okay, so bear that in mind, we have that number. Then, uh, let's move on to our next question. How much economic profit does the monopolist generate? Essentially, this is producer surplus, so it's another welfare indicator. So by definition, okay, the profit of a monopolist is equal to revenue minus cost, which is essentially right PM times QM minus uh, the cost function of the monopolist, right? So C QM, plugging that in. So we have a uh, revenue of the monopolist that's equal to uh, the price again that's going to be charged is third, uh, 300 times uh, the quantity which is 5 minus our cost function which is uh, 20. Okay, that's 20 Q squared, right? So that's 5 squared, okay, plus 500. Okay, and you'll find this that this, this one is equal to 1500. Minus uh, this entire thing, okay, is minus 1,000. Therefore, uh, the profit of that is equal to 500. Okay, so that's the profit uh, function uh, or the profit rather of that monopolist in this case. So that's pi m. That's going to be equal to uh, 500. Okay, so... Uh, we'll end this video here and we're going to continue on with the other parts in the next uh, maybe two videos. So thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.